Healthier Together. Sponsored by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. In today's Healthier Together, we're talking another first from OHSU. Doctors are treating two different neurological conditions with one brain implant. It's something that's never been done before. And get this, the patient is the one who suggested it to doctors. Brittany Fall Life isn't as unpredictable as it used to be. From driving to work to dinner with friends, Amber Pearson is finding freedom in the day to day. I'm happier and I'm able to just do so much more than than I used to. Tasks that may seem simple to some come with a heavy burden for Amber. She's lived with obsessive compulsive disorder for about 10 years. She's been living with epileptic seizures for even longer since she was a teen. One time I had a seizure that was so big uh, I went into cardiac arrest and now I have a pacemaker. Even so, she says OCD has been even harder to live with. While epilepsy brings limitations to her life, she says OCD controls it. Everything you do during the day revolves around the obsessions and the compulsions. Amber told me that she would wash her hands until they bled. She couldn't sit down to eat at the table with family or friends because she felt like her food would get contaminated. It takes a lot out of you. It's tiring and alienating. It's embarrassing. That's that's probably the worst for me is how embarrassing I, you know, I was doing all these things and trying not to let my friends see it. Just to do something as simple as getting ready for bed could take 45 minutes to an hour. She'd have to check all the windows, make sure the stove was off and check under the beds and in each closet. Well, because you're thinking about it constantly, it's tiring. You're constantly exhausted from it. But that started to change after a procedure in March 2019. She became the first person in the entire world to benefit from a single stimulator implanted in the brain, effectively controlling both her seizures caused by epilepsy and compulsive behavior caused by OCD. It's pretty, pretty miraculous, to be honest with you, that we ended up where we are. Dr. Ahmed Roslin is a professor of neurosurgery at OHSU. He implanted the primary device solely with the purpose of controlling Amber's seizures. But she had an idea of how to make that little electrode go even further. I asked them, do you think we could also try to hit the OCD part of the brain? When she brought up this idea, I said, whoa, this is very smart. I wonder why we didn't think about this. The areas of the brain that control both her seizures and her OCD are not too far apart. They're not the same, but they're not too far apart. And that created an opportunity for us to try to kind of uh, uh, double dip, if you will. Now, four years later, Amber's life has changed. Her seizures are better under control, and the impact on her OCD has been profound. I can do things quicker now. I can get out the door without having to spend 45 minutes to you know, do my routine. Amber is on a path of new discovery in her treatment finding peace in daily life. From going to bed without an hour-long checklist to celebrating a holiday meal together with the people she loves. There were kids running around and all of her, you know, family with the food in the you know, middle of the table and all of us sitting around. It was incredible. I've never had that feeling before. It, it was freedom. Brittany Falkers, KGW News. So great to see. And after embarking on this journey, Amber's found her new calling, getting ready to go back to school for surgical technology, hoping to one day work with the doctors who helped make this possible. You can find more stories like this on kgw.com slash healthier together.